This is part four of section 3.3. We've been doing long division and synthetic division. Now I'm going to talk about the remainder theorem and then the factor theorem. Okay, so if the polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, so notice that this is in this, the form that we, we would be allowed to use synthetic division on because it's a, it has a degree of 1 and our coefficient of x is 1. Then the remainder is f of c. Now look back at the problems we were just doing. So if this is x minus 3, this is x minus c. In this case, our c would be equal to 3. It's always the opposite sign of what we have here. So this value is what we had right here. What this theorem is saying is that if I took a 3 and I plugged it into this and did all of the arithmetic following order of operations and everything else, the answer I would get is 549. So if I plugged in a 3 into this, this would be the answer I get. Okay? Now, this is important in later sections, so this is a lot more about um, learning how things work, and we're going to be using this to solve equations later. It's going to be part of what we're doing. But this particular type of problem says, given f of x equal to 3x to the 4th plus 6x cubed minus 2x plus 4, Use the remainder theorem to find f of negative 4. Okay, now remember that this value, when we were dividing by this, okay, this was the number that was in our half box, okay, because we had already, when we set up our, our synthetic division, we had already changed the sign of whatever is here, okay? So basically, what this is saying is telling us to use synthetic division with a negative 4 right here, and we're going to divide into this. Let's make sure that everything is in order, and we've, have, we've skipped anything, and we have skipped something. Here I have a fourth power, a third power. I do not have a second power, so plus 0x squared. And then I have a first power and a constant. So when I set up my synthetic division, I get 3, and then a 6, 0, negative 2, and positive 4. So synthetic division, you bring down your first number, which is a 3. And now we're just going to multiply and add. 3 times negative 4 would be minus 12. 6 times negative 12, uh, 6 plus negative 12 would be negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. Add 0, 24. 24 times negative 4 is negative 96. Negative 2 plus negative 96 would be negative 98. Negative 98 times negative 4 is 392. And now add 4 plus 392 to get 396, and that is our remainder right here. Now to apply this theorem, what we have just found is that f of negative 4 is equal to 396. Now I know this seems weird because you might be wondering, well, why can't I just plug in negative 4 and do all of the arithmetic? Well, you can. If all you were trying to do is just find out what this thing is equal to. But this basic idea is something we're going to apply later. So I know it seems weird, but just go ahead and get some practice working these problems using this method. It will help you out later on. Okay. So, now let's go on to the factor theorem. And what this is saying is if we have a polynomial and either one of these, okay, if we know that when we plug in a number, we get zero, then what we know is that x minus c is a factor of f of x. Now this ties together a lot of the definitions we've had earlier. Now what we set up here with the remainder theorem is if we divide by this, then the remainder is f of c. 
Well, if our remainder is zero, then that means this was a factor. We're just tying in a bunch of definitions here, okay? And likewise, if we know that this is a factor, then we know that if we plug in Z, uh, C, we get zero. Okay, so this works both ways. Okay, so let's look at this problem. Let's solve this equation. 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 equal to zero. Given that x min that minus 2 is a zero of this function. What this means is if I plug in negative two, I should get zero. So negative two is one of the solutions of this, okay? Now let's use this theorem, okay? So what this tells me is if x minus two is a zero, so f of, of negative two equals zero. That means x minus, this is our c value, so x minus, a negative 2 is a factor, which is x plus 2. Now what this is telling me is that if I have 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6, this thing factors as x plus 2 times something. I don't know what this something is. But I know if I can figure out what this is, then I could set this equal to zero and then this equal to zero and solve it, okay? Well, how are we gonna find out what goes right here? Well, we're gonna do division. It should divide evenly, okay? So I'm gonna do synthetic division. I'm gonna divide all of this by this. So I put my negative two in my half box I haven't skipped over any terms here, so this is a 2, a negative 3, a negative 11, and a 6. And I know my remainder should be 0. Bring down the 2. 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Add a negative 3 and you get negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. Negative 11 plus 14 is a positive 3. 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. Add these together and you get your 0. So what is this? Well, this is started off with a cube, so this starts off with a square, and then an x, and then our constant. So what goes right here? This. 2x squared minus 7x plus three. Our remainder is zero. And if you think about what we talked about early on, we said we would check it by multiplying this times this plus your remainder and you should get this. Here we're just adding a zero. Okay, now I know if I want to set this equal to zero, it would be this equal to zero and this equal to zero. Well, I need to see if I can solve this. I need to factor this further. So if I'm looking at 2x squared minus 7x plus 3, I want to see if it factors. I would be looking for two numbers that multiply to a positive 6, which I got by 2 times 3, and I want them to add to a negative 7. So that would be a negative 6 and a negative 1. So I could rewrite this as 2x squared minus 6x plus a negative x plus 3. I'm going to solve this by uh, grouping. If I group these two together and then these two together, from the first group I can factor out a 2 and an x and that leaves x minus 3 plus here I want to get an x minus 3 so I'm going to factor out a negative 1 which will give me x minus 3. So this whole thing factors as x minus 3 times 2x plus a negative 1 or minus 1. So this is equal to, I have x plus 2 times x minus 3 times 2x minus 1. Now if this is equal to 0, 
Then to solve this, I set x plus 2 equal to 0, x minus 3 equal to 0, and 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I'll solve each of these, and I get x equals negative 2. And we were already told that that was a 0, so it's good that we got that again. From here, I get that x equals 3. And here, I have 2x equals 1, so x is equal to 1 half. I have three answers, which is what I should have, because the number of answers should always equal your degree. And we have our three answers as negative 2, 1 half, and 3. These are separate answers, so they should be written in set form with braces here. The order you write your answers in does not matter at all. So here are your answers.